Grab yourselves a blanket and get comfy because I'm running out of ideas. I'm gonna start doing this stuff. I'm going to try one of these and just say how do I feel about them. Kind of like the Blue Fanta Legacy, you know what I mean? When it comes to chocolate bars, like, 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 there, there's a lot of them in Canada. It's like, you know, you got the big names, you got the, you got the Hershey's, you got the, you got the... But here, you got, you got a chocolate bar for everything. That's how it is in Europe. When you're in Europe, you got all these, like, insane chocolates, like 50,000 different chocolates. And it's crazy. But in a good way, that's a good kind of crazy. And it's mad cheap. And I thought, hey, maybe I'll eat all of them at once as a one big review, but then I'm like, no, I'll probably die. Let's go, chocolates and chocolates and turkey. I don't know which one to start with. Let's start with this one, actually. First off, we got Keck chocolate cookie, I'm assuming. Let's just open it up. It's kind of hard to get this one out, probably because it was sitting on the table, but it's just, uh, it's just like a little cake. It's just a little chocolate cake, nothing crazy. Um, I had them before. Kind of got something going on in the middle, but not really. It's a kind of a big wrapper for what it is, but this is for when you when you just want something quick. You don't know what you want. You just want to put something in your mouth. I think this is what this kind of uh, little sweet is. It's all right. It's all right. This is like all right. Um, I'm gonna rate this out of four because five stars is overrated. I'd give it a two. Two being like okay. Because I like the feel of it in my mouth. It's chocolate. I really like chocolate. I'm heavily biased towards chocolate. But it's just, it doesn't have too much taste otherwise. It's just, it's just. All right, we're going to move on to this. Something new. Something new. Um, So this. Vowel. It's just wow. It's pretty much just wow. Um, It's just the nougat. Caramel nougat. So, um, yeah, it should be pretty basic. But uh, I like it's firm. It feels pretty firm. Um, I don't know... What to compare it to? I've completely forgotten what chocolates I'm used to otherwise. Oh yeah, you got that. You got that factory look. You got that. You got that back mate, whatever, whatever it's called. Looks, you know, just looks like a chocolate bar, a generic chocolate bar. So let's pop it open. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Just a caramel nuke. Let's let's bite into it. It's deceptive. Deceptively soft up here. It's almost like a Mars bar. I don't think I've seen Mars bars here. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I absorb it, you know, savor the flavor. Three star. This one's three star. It's pretty good. I think the caramel is a bit too sugary though. Kind of like powder flavor. I'm not sure. Not powder flavor. You almost get that like sugar like feel that texture on it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Nothing wild though. I like to praise its firmness. I might as well show the bar a little. Show the, 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 the you know, show the housing of it. You got a lot of uh, Arabic and other stuff on it. You know what? I'll go for this. I'll go for this just because... I'm clearly not gonna eat this whole thing. This is um, just cookie with orange and chocolate. Um, this has English on it, so that's interesting. Did not does not contain lard in its derivatives. That's pretty good. These are all made in Turkey. I'm pretty sure this one says made in Turkey. Yeah, Turkey. Yeah, you know it's the real deal. It's Ulkers. Here's the cookies. They're little cookies. They're little cookies. They're, uh, you can kind of see the orange inside them a little. Otherwise, let, let's do, let's Oreo them. Let's split them open if I can. I can't. It's your standard Pharaoh cookie. It's not nothing, nothing too new. It looks like mostly chocolate with the orange in the middle. Well, I'm assuming. I taste a little bit of the orange paste. Yeah, it's just a little dot. Like on here, they show. It's kind of it's kind of misleading. They show a lot more orange. This one's also a two star, but potentially maybe one and a half star. 
It's just it's just your usual cookie. It doesn't do anything special. This is probably best when you're eating something else, but it's on its own. It's just the orange is a bit too tangy. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a lot of cookie. You can't really taste the chocolate, unlike some perhaps some other cookies where they put more of the chocolate. But hey, it is what it is. It's cookie. It's your standard fare. You're not expecting much with it. All right, today I got I got two wafers going today. We're doing we're going wafer day. Um, first Nesquik. I wouldn't think Nesquik has a sort of chocolate bar, but hey, it does. It's just a wafer. Um, I don't know what else to say. I don't think I don't think these are gonna be keen. I've never been keen on wafers before. There's only been one. Technically, Kit Kat's technically a wafer. Huh? Uh, the chunky ones are actually alright, but that's only because you know there's not as much wafer. Yeah, nothing else to. Okay, this one might make a mess, but hey. Yeah, it's just a wafer, you can just see. Wafer sort of thing. Let's go. It's just wafer. You can definitely tell this one's more milky. It's more milky. The chocolate's lighter. I'm giving that one a two, maybe two and a half. It's a wafer. Late wafers are always low tier, I don't know. I don't know, that stuff, I think you only eat that stuff like when you're having coffee time, I don't know. I've never been a fan. Now this one. This one's like coconut. The wrapping's nice. It looks, it looks nice and blue. Blue's always nice. Oh yeah, this one, this one's gonna be a little bit of a mess. Yeah, you can, you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. This is, this is full coconut mode. Let's go. Let's go. No, I didn't drop anything. Yeah, this chocolate's just slightly darker than the Nesquik one. You got your coconut going on. It's the same deal otherwise though. It's just way for a coconut. It gives it a little bit of a refined taste, but uh, then again, I don't know what refined is. That one's also a two and a half, but it's probably better than an Esquik, just because it's uh probably more premium. It's got it's got more going on. But yeah, wafers, wafers are in, eh. at least at least they're alright. They're not bad. I've I've tasted some bad wafers. There's the ones that are like super dry or like like they're almost powdery. But yeah, that's it for wafers. I think. Good evening. Tonight we've got we got two more wafers. I was kind of lying, but we got we got two more wafers. Apologize for the poor lighting. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We got a uh, nineteen twenty seven. It's it's by Nestle. It's by Nestle. I think that's the first thing I'm trying. It's by Nestle, and we got Deedle. Deedle. Um, let's try the Nestle one first. Nineteen twenty seven. I've never heard of this. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be crunchy. All that sort of stuff. Yep, we got a sort of sort of a hazelnut going on. I don't know if it'll be crunchy. It's a wafer though. Let's try it. Yeah, it's crunchy. Not bad. It's actually. Mmm. Chocolate's pretty good. It's a little dark, but it's pretty good. The nuts are actually adding to it. Hmm. It's actually not bad at all. Hmm. Yeah, wafer's kind of like soft. It's not in your face like the other ones. Hmm. That's a three. That's a three. Instant three. Cause it's good. Yeah, two is like you know, they're all right. Three is a solid good. They're, this one's a really good. 1927. I'm pretty sure there's other variations from what I saw in the store. But this one with uh, nuts and just chocolate. It's pretty good. 
it sort of melts in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. No, it's not a four because I don't. It's actually kind of weird. No, three point five. I'll give it a three point five. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's actually pretty damn good. I don't know why I'm using decimals. I just said I wouldn't do it. But hey, next we got Deedle. Um, Ulker. I think it's the same deal as the other one. Um, probably not gonna get anything crazy with it. It's probably just chocolate and wafer. I think this one's gonna be kind of like a Kit Kat crunchy, and they have those here. As you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see that has a logo stamped on it, but otherwise, yeah, it's just a, it's just a wafer. Let's try it. Yeah, it's like a Kit Kat Crunchy. Decent amount of chocolate. The wafer is also not on your face. It's it's like a support. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's like it's like support. It's the beans. You're cutting away the beans. This one's not bad either. It's just chocolate. Simple. It's good and simple though. Two point nine. A three. This one's pretty good. It's pretty good. What am I doing? It's pretty good. Not as good as this one. Cause this one's uh I'm pretty sure this one's more premium. So this one's pretty good. Now if you don't like chocolate that much like I do, then you might not like it. Easy three and uh, 1927 is like 3.5, and that's all the wafers for now. All right, next up we got we got we got something uh, classical looking. We got we got something that looks uh, we got something that looks a little a little bit premium. You know, you got you got that nice little beigeish yellowish color. Lativa, ooh, so you know it sounds good. The font, you got the font, you got the font going. Um, but it looks like it's just pure chocolate, so I'm gonna be very biased about this one as well. So let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, it's just one chalk, just one, one slab of chocolate. Not much going on there. A little engraving, but that's it. That's. <laughs> no, my camera just sucks. Mmm. <laughs> oh man, that's strong. Like it's got two layers. You can see it's got two layers. It's a blast of chocolate. Yeah, top layer is like maybe coffee-ish. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a truffle actually. Yeah, the top layer is a truffle. All right, and the bottom layer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's solid. It's like. The stuff says like almost like gingerbread. It's not nougat. It's not nougat, but okay, it's like a cookie, very much. Okay. I don't think this passes as a wafer. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. I don't know if it sounds like I'm not enjoying it, but no, this is this is good. This is hitting me right in the chocolate, the chocolate, chocolate, the chocolate, man. This is hitting me in the chocolate. Ooh, you know what, man? This is like 4.5. It's like really good. Like it's, it's a, it is a good mix. This is a good mix. Now, why is it not a five? I think it's because I would eventually get sick of this. Like you, you'd usually get sick of most chocolates, but this is like, I'll get sick of it sooner. So the top part, the top chocolate part's a little, a little bit tough. Cause it's like a truffle, yeah. It's like a truffle, dark. It's, it's starting, I'm getting slowly less literate as time goes on. You can tell the cookie parts like right there in your face. Not as much as like the other ones, like the wafers, like it, like it still sort of fits. But I don't know if it's like it's a little bit too like tasteless or crumbly. I'm not sure how to explain. It. Very close. I don't know what changes. I'm not a professional. But easily 4.5, cause this is hitting me right in the chocolatey. <laughs> Alright, next, next. Boombastic. It's just boombastic. Um, yeah, this this one's this one's more of a premium looking one, so wafer with hazelnut cream and crispy rice. Okay, it's a it's a it's a wafer apparently. Oop, it's kinda broken there. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the camera sucks. Let's let's try it.
pretty good. Not bad. Though I kind of just zone now because like all the both the wafer and uh, I don't know if that's caramel. No, it's not caramel. It feels like it's just melting together. So I kind of just I kind of just taste chocolate, like the firmness of the wafer. I think that's supposed to be like peanut butter, but I'm not sure. It tastes a little peanutty. These my beards have grown so fast because I think it's only been two months. And trust me, it used to grow way slower. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I have nothing else to comment on. It's just. It's just, yeah, it's weird. It's also hollow. It's not actually filled like it's in the picture. The max I'm giving this is like a three. Might be a 2.5. It's all right. It's got that problem where it's like, it's the sweet, strong kind of chocolate where it's like, it's, it feels more sugary than it is actually like chocolatey. Yeah, I think I'd grow sick of this after a while. It's better than wafer, but... It's like, whatever. All I know about these is that, that Mr. Beast guy ate a bunch of it like a while back, a long time ago. And uh, he exploded his bathtub toilet, whatever. Well, I've already tried these. They, they, they're, they're, they're pretty good. I'll say outright, they're pretty good. I don't know if I can give them a rating though. Cause they're not like the other bars. Oh, they're tiny. Look at them. These are tiny versions. Unlike most candies, which I appreciate, but I also don't appreciate, is that these flavors, each color wildly varies. Some of them are not as good as the other, that's a problem. Like, you got power ranking differences. I think the green ones are good. Same with either, like, one of the red ones. I think what it was supposed to be pineapple, like, this one has a very weak flavor. Can't or no. Yeah, this one's like, whatever. Actually, I don't know. Slowly and slowly, I'm just tasting nothing but beef gelatin. If I eat more of these, my stomach gets all rumbly all day. So I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. But I mean, they're cool. The baby! Let's go. Etty poof. Poof, poof. Etty poof. Kex. Looks like kex. Poof, uh, I don't know. Let's try it. It's like a marshmallow. This camera sucks. Yeah, it's like a marshmallow and it's got pink. Yeah, I'm definitely not biting into that cracker. Oh, it's got some... It's got some filling. It's not as crumbly as I thought it'd be. Okay. It's alright. Not bad, but I don't feel anything. It's like a two. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I have for this episode. Um, I don't think I'm doing this again because uh, that was that was um, that was unlike me. There's a lot of chocolates here. There's a lot. You go down, it's like you're at the pharmacy, but for chocolates and candy bars. Uh, it's a kid's paradise. You you got so much, but unfortunately, I just can't. I just can't eat all of them. So hopefully, I've given you a, a nice little peek at what turkey's got to offer in terms of the chocolate meta game. So if you didn't enjoy it, I don't care. If you enjoyed it, I don't care. See you next time.